everyone, so today I'm doing the $20 makeup challenge and I'm starting off with my face. So I'm taking the CoverGirl Clean for Normal Skin Foundation in Ivory and this was for $5.60. I'm going to be rambling in this video because I'm going to try to be as informative as possible. So this foundation, it blends in really nicely. I used my fingers because brushes were not on the budget. And it stunk a little bit, but that's the only con I can find. It didn't dry out my skin or anything, even though I got the normal skin, but I have dry patches. But it didn't cause the dry patches to be any drier or anything. It doesn't. It wasn't a problem. It blends nicely, and the color matched my skin, so that was very nice. And it's all blended, I think. And I just put a little bit more on my cheeks to make sure it was all covered up and didn't cause any cakiness. Then I'm taking the e.l.f. Tone Corrector Concealer and this was for a dollar. This is a decent concealer. It doesn't cover blemishes that well. If you have tiny little spots, it's alright, but it's not the best concealer. But it's not the worst. It's decent, like I said. Little spots, it's good. Big spots, not so much. So yeah, I just use the little spongy applicator and just put it everywhere. And just, yeah. It blends pretty easy as well. And then I also used it as a eyelid primer, which some concealers you can do that. With this one, it didn't really help, but I did it anyways just to see if it would be beneficial for my eyeshadow. Which it's not, but it's not meant for that anyway, so it's okay. Then I'm taking the NYC Brow and Eyeliner Pencil, and this was for $0.94. Cents. And this one I didn't particularly like that much because the color is lighter than my brows. My brows are black, but it showed up on my brows darker, basically. Like, the color, you could see it's lighter, but using my normal routine and a light hand, it, was, it made my brows just look like too much was going on, basically. Like, you could tell that my brows were painted on. And this is how I do my brows every day, so if that makes sense, it just, yeah. So I just kind of filled and then wiped off. And I used a Q-tip, which isn't cheating because it's not a makeup brush or anything. And I just wiped them off a little bit and tried to blend it out. So this one wasn't my favorite. But I mean, for the price, I guess it does the job, but not the job that I wanted. And then I just fill the other brow in again with a light hand and it just nope, nope, nope. The point I'm getting at is that it shows up lighter, but my brows looked extremely dark. Basically. So using a Q-tip again, not cheating like I said because it's not a makeup thing. So yeah, taking the Rimmel London for $3.99. This is eyeshadow quad set. It's in Sun Safari. And the colors on this are really good. I try to show you here in a minute. They're shimmery, but I really like that, and I like the colors that it has in the shimmery thing. Like, it's kind of bronzy thing going on. And I feel like with a proper primer, you would get, like, really good color results from this. I didn't really use a primer, just the concealer. And the color still showed up really nicely. And, yeah, taking the creamish color, I'm just going to be applying that all over my lid. And I pack this on just to make sure that I can really get the color. It's a little bit of yellowish, creamish thing. Then I'm taking this like orangish kind of creamish thing, I guess. I don't know. And I'm just applying that on the outer corner. Then I'm taking like this orange, reddish, brownish color. And that's going to be going into my crease. And it blends really easily with my finger as well, so that's nice. But it comes with a sponge as well. Okay, then I'm taking the e.l.f. Liquid Eyeliner, and this was for a dollar. Yep. And this one has kind of the flippy tippy, like the tip flips easily. It's not like a hard tip. Yep. And this one is a good eyeliner, but 
it didn't give the results that I really wanted because it gives more of a shiny eyeliner. And I like the eyeliners that are kind of more like a matte eyeliner. But it does do the job. And if you apply a little bit more of it, then it's a darker black. When you first apply it, it's kind of like a grayish, like, it's, it's black, but it's a bit see-through. So you do have to apply a little bit more. But, again, I, I kind of do, the, like, the heavy eyeliner, and it's all winged out. So if you're just doing a soft eyeliner, then, yeah, eyeliner, yeah. Then it's not as noticeable, I guess, but I kind of had to pack a little bit more on to get a dark color. Yeah, and it's shiny, like I said. Again, I'm sorry I'm rambling. I just want to be as informative as I possibly can. So then I'm taking the Rimmel Extra Wow Lash, and this is just like a kind of a standard two. Okay, wait, 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 wait I messed up. Okay, this is for $2.49. And then it has, come on, move on. I made this a bit too long. It has a standard kind of brush to it. But for the price, it's a really, really good mascara. Like, it, I feel like it lengthens more than it does anything else. But it's really decent. And, I mean, it's not the best. But for the price, I think it's good. And it also delivers a good black color as well. So that is the final look for my eyeballs. Then I'm taking the NYC, I think it's kind of like a lip gloss, for $2.74. And I believe this color was caramel apple or candy apple. I think it says caramel. Yeah, caramel apple. And this one is moisturizing, but... The color is not too vibrant or anything. It gives kind of a bronzy-ish look to your lips, which I like that color, so it's good to me. But um, it's really, it feels really slippery, like nice and moisturizing. Yep, yep. Then I'm just going in and trying to fix up my brows and wiping it off and stuff. And that's my look. So thank you guys for watching. I hope this was informative. And if you want to know, the total I spent was $17.76. So I passed. Okay. Bye, guys.